Here's interesting trending app called Photo Cleaner, Swipe Wipe, Clean Gallery and Camera Roll. So then you can just uh, install it. So let's install this app. And it's quite high in the charts recently. You can see it in the charts in utilities. Um, and pretty nice reviews. Uh, people say this app is so efficient. It says, I was overwhelmed by the number of photos on my iPhone and I didn't feel like there was an easy way to clear out camera roll. Don't even know I heard about Swipe Wipe. Uh, and this person removed over 7K photos from my phone and given 20 gigabytes of extra space. Uh, so yeah, that's like uh, the idea, you know. If you like to take photos on iPhone, with these new cameras, these photos can super quickly consume so so much storage because you know these new camera photos are quite large. I'm not even talking about video, so then it can very quickly just you know populate your phone. So then you can just open it up. Here is uh, the app, um, and yeah, then you can just start using it. And here is. Uh, there is three day free, free trial and then $50 per year. And then uh, we make it easy, fast and fun to clean the camera roll. First thing first, please grant swipe by access to your photos. So then just continue, you can give full access. And then there is a reminder once per month when there is a new batch of photos to sort through, uh, they will just let you know that there can be some possibilities to clean up the space once each morning if you have any photos to review on, on this day. So then you can just enable this and then look back at the photos you take on this day and decide what to keep, what to delete. Tap on the swipe white logo to toggle the order. Uh, so, and then for every month you can just select um, the photos and then tap to see an image metadata on the information icon. To undo a swipe, you can just, uh, yeah. And then if you swipe left, you delete it. If you swipe right, you keep it. And then, yeah, this is just some of the photos I took. And uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, that's basically the idea here. So, and then you just delete, keep it, or you can also bookmark it. And then again, you can just, uh, see the, the size of the image, uh, when it was created at which time, all the metadata, then you can just tap keep, for example. Uh, and then you can do rewind and top right. So yeah, that's basically the idea. And then you can see your bookmarks, you can see on, How to install on this day. It also includes videos, I guess. And then you can just see all the photos from all different months here. Uh, so then in the top right, you can see all the stats, how, my, how much memory you saved, like all your camera, all images, images you swiped. Uh, then you also can reach out to their support. And then there is a subscription again, so $30 per year, then you will get unlimited swipes and no ads. Because yeah, you can just start using it, but seems there will be some limit of swipes, uh, which what it is. Um, so yeah, uh, <clears throat> I guess that's the idea. I don't know actually if this app automatically organizes similar photos. In this app, in some apps, there is functionality like that. Um, and then there is a widget, so. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if it uh, groups similar photos. In, in some apps it does it, you know, if sometimes you just took 10 photos and you really want to keep one. So I don't know if that's available. So if you want to install the widget, just tap and hold and then you can um, tap and then uh, let's just search for swipe, wipe. And then, yeah, you can just add the widget like this. And then there you have it. And then you will see how many photos you swiped today.